Here's one of the alternatives to uh, CMOS. It's called uh, CAS Code Voltage Switch Logic, so CVSL. It's kind of cool, but it's uh, questionable whether it's uh, too useful or not. So anyway, it uh, is a type of uh, static CMOS gate which uses two rail logic, so that means it has uh, A and A bar, for example. Uh, the NMOS logic uh, pull-down section or network implements both the desired logic function as well as its complement. Uh, one of the things you might uh, take away is that a, a two-rail logic is easier to test because you have both the, the uh, value and its complement. Uh, so the example that we're going to take a look at basically implements an XOR as well as the XNOR gate. And this is a bit of history for CAS code. Uh, I think it uh, was used in high-gain guitar tube amps with the tubes being uh, the precursor to the JFET, which I guess is a precursor to the MOSFET. Um, so anyway, since all the input signals are available in a complemented form, functions such as XOR are simplified, which normally require a large number of transistors, and we looked at some of the implementations of that quite early on. So uh, more than one gate may be implemented with a smaller number of transistors in a single pull-down section. Uh, personally, I don't really know if the number of transistors is much of an issue at all anymore, but uh, that's one of the benefits of this type of uh, logic family. So the example uh, demonstrates two complementary functions in the NMOS logic, and some of the, these in this particular block happen to share transistors. So some synthesis techniques would have been used to uh, reduce the number of transistors in that block. So each output also connects to the complement's pull-up transistor, uh, turning it off when the pull down, uh, when the other pull-down section is on. And it's a little bit clearer when we take a look at an exact example. Uh, since two lines are required, though, for, for each signal, the routing complexity of these lines will be greater than that of uh, a full static CMOS. So logic implemented in cascode voltage switch logic will typically be a little faster than single rail logic, and we'll uh, consider, for example, where that may be the case in AND gate. Uh, it could be implemented in static CMOS as a NAND followed by an inverter, which would, you could say produces a delay of two gates. But in the cascode voltage switch logic, it's a single gate that would be implemented uh, both AND and NAND simultaneously. So logic minimization algorithms have certainly been developed to minimize the, the size of the NMOS logic uh, network. It's not very large in any event, so certainly you can make it optimal. Uh, this logic family may offer increased testability, as we mentioned before, because it does have a two-rail code. So you can always make sure that you're not stuck because you're going to get uh, complementary signals on all your lines. Uh, each input may connect to more than one gate uh, in the NMOS logic. That's as a consequence of the, the synthesis and reducing number of transistors in that block. So each gate would typically require less than 2N plus 2 transistors, but probably not much of an issue uh, anymore at all. Anyway, here's an example of the of a uh, schematic layout representation with the NMOS logic block. We have out and out bar, and we can see that these are connected to, in a cross-coupled kind of manner to the to the pull-up section of the uh, alternative. So here's the XOR implemented. I'm not going to go through how this uh, section down here was implemented, but you can if you like. We'll just look at one instance of it as said, uh, and we'll look at the test vector or let's say a, a vector and check what the logic is, basically simulating it. So we let A equal 1, B equal 1. So these two n-type transistors are on. We're going to pull this node low. So XOR is going to go low as we'd expect. And uh, hmm, would we expect that? i have to check that later. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> uh, XOR goes low. And as this goes low, it turns on this p-type transistor and pulls up the XNOR. So um, that's basically the operation of the gate and how it should behave. And it definitely has a, a differential amplifier type of flavor to it. Uh, something that's also kind of neat is this uh, differential split level logic. It's also kind of cool and its uh, utility just is questionable. So anyway, with the differential split level logic, it's a modification of the CVSL gate. Uh, two transistors are inserted into the gate with the gate tied to a reference voltage. Now we have an intermediate reference voltage of VREF, which is VDD uh, by 2 plus VTN. Uh, these transistors will limit the maximum voltage level on the nodes X and X bar to VDD by 2, or approximately 2.5 volts in a 5 volt technology. So this re reduced uh, voltage swing on these gates will increase the speed of the gates because we're uh, basically uh, driving capacitors to half the voltage values we were before. So it's an interesting circuit technique for sure, but not too sure if any vendor is actually using any of this technology. Uh, these techniques, however, might be buried within specialized modules such as memory. It's sort of like the recipes for KFC Coke or McDonald's secret sauce. I really wouldn't know where you'd find those if they're buried too deep. Anyway, here's an example of the
of the, the modification to our basic uh, cascode voltage switch logic. Here's our two n-type transistors which are tied to VREF, which is going to be, let's say, the, the supply voltage by 2 plus a, a threshold voltage drop to basically let the, the nodes here, X and X bar, be at um, uh, VDD by 2. So again, we'll look through this scenario with the test vector. A is equal to a 1 and B is equal to 1. X is pulled down low. Right, so this node goes low, this is turned on, this node also goes low, turns on this transistor, and XOR goes high, and XOR goes low. So the same operation as we uh, saw before. So one of the rationales for why it'd be faster, we're basically uh, charging and discharging most of the capacitive load associated with gate from VDD by 2, and uh, as opposed to discharging from VDD. And we'd have to then recall our equations for T rise and T fall. So at this point in time, we'll take a brief break.